As the NFL prepares for its first outdoor Super Bowl in the Northeast, the brutal cold and snow threatens to make it an extremely uncomfortable experience for the estimated 78,000 fans. After a foot of snow blanketed MetLife Stadium Wednesday and temperatures dropped to nose-numbing levels, there's concern winter weather could ruin Super Bowl Sunday. This is an all-weather sport. We've got all-weather fans, and we're really in an all-weather region, so I'm confident we'll be able to play the game. NFL officials say they have a plan in case the weather gets really ugly. It includes 60,000 tons of salt, 1,300 workers, thousands of cleanup trucks, and a snow melting machine. Ticket holders will receive a warm welcome package, which contains earmuffs, a knit cap, a neck gaiter, gloves, and hand warmers. This is the first time the big game will be played outdoors in the Northeast winter. 78,000 fans will brave the elements in the open air stadium. The one thing that the NFL didn't count on was getting this kind of freezing temperatures we're getting in New York and in New Jersey. And this, that could be a big factor for the fans. That could make for some real uncomfortable times. I'll probably have some hand warmers in my shoes, hand warmers in my gloves, hand warmers in my pockets, in my hat, everything. But if you ask any real football fan if the cold would stop them from going? No, definitely not. I would definitely be there all, yeah, all day. This, this makes it the Super Bowl. The cold weather is during the winter every year, so why not? I mean, it's football, so and it's the Super Bowl. It's once a year. I think even though it's cold, even though it's in New York and the weather is going to be freezing, I think people are just going to go. And as the NFL has indicated, the game will go on. Rain, shine, or snow. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.